Charleston, Minnesota. Yeah, he drove the bus back in those days, Hasty said. And, <laughs> but uh, he played for them both in Austin and in Rochester with the Rochester Mustangs. So they know each other well and good friends to this day. They keep in contact. And Kyle McClellan has made Mike Hastings' life a lot better as a first-year Badger coach. He's third in the country with that goals against. He has really turned his game around. And Guy Blessing has carried the mail for Saratory. You could, Frank would probably like that save percentage to be a little higher, but... That's the goaltenders. They'll be busy tonight. So we've got the line seven best in the country. Air Force averaging 2.7 goals per game. Steele, Lucius comes in, dangles, and a nice stop by Blessing with a left pad rebound. Went wide. Here's D. St. Foul. Quick shot by David Cilia. Stopped by Blessing. D. St. Foul. Lucius again. Blessing another save, and he covers. A flurry by the Badgers. Tucks. The offensive zone. He's the quarterback in the number one power play. Defensively, he's been better. He's got the puck to the slot. Tassie scores. Dexheimer, great feed to Simon Tassie. He buries it 445 in. A one nothing Badgers. Sixth goal of the year for Tassie. One of the three guys that Mike Hastings brought with him from Mankato. But Dexheimer made the play. He steals the puck at the bow line. Comes in and feeds Tassie who shoots off the pass. And the Badgers get the early lead in front of a nice crowd here. Tassie with the, the go-ahead goal. Mentioned Tassie with a game-winning goal at Minnesota to finish off the sweep early. Starring missed the Nets. Will Starring has it again. Turnaround shot blocked down in front. Look out. McClellan along with Ralph Barahona and now U.S. Congressman Pete Stauber. Long range shot by the defenseman out high. Baumgartner stopped by McClellan. Little collision as McClellan falls back, but he's all right. He's got Bantle went up high and may have gotten away with high contact. Now a lob shot towards the cage. Lindmark watched it flutter over his shoulder and Blessing came out to grab it and hang on a little. Badger senior captain, 104th career game backhand shot. Oh, big kick saved by McClellan in tight on Parker Brown. Here come the Badgers the other way. Pass for Scholl. Off too hot to handle, but he chased it down and Blessing kept the puck out of the net. Scholl's got it again. Center it's only seven shots on goal. They average 34. And seven, make that eight. Here's Mellenbacher shot stopped by Blessing. The rebound was there, and Mellenbacher chipped it over the cage. And Blessing offered up the real gift there, and Mellenbacher couldn't finish. Yeah, Owen looking for his first goal as a Badger. Dump deep, White Law. Oh, he just crushed head and all the way back to the Wisconsin zone, and that'll do it for the period. Orbach and Lindmark, aggressive per usual on that YouTube to this day. He is a funny man and a good hockey coach. Yes, he is. Gibbons from Wakefield, Rhode Island. Back out to Digby. Here's Horn. He shoots one low, save made, rebound, save as well. 16. No, he shut out Pakistan of the first two games of the season. And no cup to Pepper moving back to that. Yeah, no Badger goaltender had ever shut out the same opponent in the same weekend back-to-back -back games. Here's Cosentino centering payouts. And here comes Wisconsin Cilia, shorthanded looking for D. St. Fallis. Did Cilia shot hit the post? Oh, David Cilia. Two goals this year after potting be covered. Here comes Wisconsin's Tassie three on three. Tried to move it ahead for Dexheimer just out of his reach. Forbach with a puck drop pass off. Lindmark shoots one into the belly of Blessing and he hangs on. Oh, Lindmark's had a big senior year. He's known primarily as a penalty killer. Good faceoff guy his first two years at Wisconsin, but he stepped up and has seven goals, 13 points. For the Panthers draft, and you would think Florida maybe is taking notice of Lindmark. Power play continues for another 80 seconds. Here's Dexheimer. His wrister got through. Blessing with a save. Rebound. Chant. Straight away, Dexheimer. Lucius with it. Looking backside. D. St. Foul sets. Shoots. And it went off the body of Rowan. Skip one. And turns and shoots. That didn't get to the net. Lucius. Turn around. Backside. Oh, Strammel stopped by Blessing. Charlie Strammel came off the bench. Went left wing to open ice. What a look by Lucius. And Blessing made the save. Right, Lucius had a couple of nice feeds. Blessing came out to challenge Strammel. That's the better of the Wilds' first round draft choice. Stays a one goal game. That was impressive. A beautiful look. Badgers had some chances on the power play. Then back in full strength, they almost get one past Blessing, who slides on his backside to make that final save. It's 1-0 Wisconsin here. Slowed by Starring, knocked down by him. 
but back on his skates and put one in front and then a collision Cosentino got hit by Scholl Mellenbacher there too blessing went back into the cage and the referee has his right hand up that's Jonathan Sittart school to go to the Western Hockey League here's a redirect off the stick of an Air Force player that best the blessing had to pop up and play with his chest and then able to cover from there again pucks to the net bill you never know what it might go off of in that time it went off an Air Force player pretty good example Ben Sherrill coming in sending it out front to Lindbark and Bussing lost track of the puck and still had the presence of mind to cover up. Years back on the attack, Celia shoots one into the chest of Blessing. Reefery at center. Horbach thought about going to pick it up. Instead, Brown does. He's got a step on him, and McClellan closes the door. 322 left in the period. Still 1-0 Wisconsin. Air Force put everything as advertised. They play hard. They're not the biggest name school in hockey, but they've given the Badgers all they to win the puck free. Charlie Stramel leads the rush. Mellenbacher snaps one off and blessing well outside his crease. Cut down the angle, made the stop, and a face-off to come with 30.2 seconds left on the clock. But it might just be a one-goal game getting to the third. Here's Lotch's shot deflected. Diving. Nice play by Blessing to keep that puck out of the net. Place to the far wall. Digby scooped it at goal here so far tonight because of that young man. Blessing is, I guess you could say it's been about even. McClellan's yet to give up a goal, so you would yeah. think that he'd been this season. Celia wings it to the corner and Lucius around behind the net. Puts one in front backside. Celia was there. Finds Lucius again. His shot. Oh, it hit the crossbar, I believe. Now to the slot. Celia looking, shooting, and he scores. David Celia lights the lamp. A minute one in the third. It's 2 0 Wisconsin. Well, Celia scored 23 goals a year ago. And Mike Hastings is saying he thought the goals had come the second half of the year. That's only his third of the season. But Hastings gave me a note. He said he scored on 23% of his shots a year ago at Minnesota State. First half of this year, he scored on 5% of his shots. Well, that one gives the Badgers a two-goal lead. And Celia's been a proven goal scorer, and that's a big goal for him. And his... He's going to hold his own on the near side. He'll shoot one towards the front of the net. Goes off his stick. And then McClellan chased it to his left. Kuhn couldn't pick it up. Air Force again towards the front of the net. They're trying. Kuhn with a backhand. Where is it? It's behind McClellan. He... Couldn't see it. Gibbons had a chance. The puck was loose in the paint. The Badgers cleared it, but not out of the zone. Now they've got a pretty good chance at it. Here's Tyson Dick. Palatichuk. And Palatichuk now shoots in a reaching glove save by Guy Blessing, and he hangs on. That one was going to go wide, but Blessing taking no chances. 26-17 shots on goal in favor of the Badgers, who averaged 34 shots on goal per game and give up only 26. Third to left. Mitchell Digby gave it away to Bantle. Low right, turns towards the slot, shoots one low. Blessing with a save. Loose puck, and it was batted wide, I think, by no from Bantle. The Badgers pull out a chuck. Fell down, no penalty. Brennan on the attack. His shot, easy glove save for McClellan. He hangs on for a fake. A chuck now. Goal line left, put it in front, good poke check by Blessing, and then a shot by Wisconsin's Tassie, stopped by Blessing, and he gave a near side in Dubois, the Madison, Wisconsin native, number 15. Now a backhand shot towards McClellan. Very true, very true. He's got three power play goals, yeah. Behind the net, it's Sawyer Scholl for Wisconsin. Centering pass, it's loose, and a chance for Mellenbacher. Where is the puck? It's behind Blessing as he looks, and then Horbach just got clobbered by starring after the whistle as he was reaching for it. But the referees did not indicate the puck went across the goal line. Blessing was looking over his left shoulder. It was underneath him. And Orbach got to be mad at the official about starring to get a shot at that. He's been very good. And it was the same way in the junior ranks. Here's D. St. Fallon center ice. Patiently, he'll throw it to the corner. Gets the angle for Cilia's empty net goal. David Cilia will get two tonight. And the Badgers will play for the Quick Trip Holiday Faceoff Championship tomorrow night. And that will technically go down as a power play goal. 
So Celia, again, who struggled in the first half after transfer again from Minnesota State, starts the second half with a two-goal night. The last goal, an empty netter with 5.1 seconds left. So Air Force gave it a good go with the goaltending of Guy Blessing, but the Falcons will fall to 8, 9, 8, 10, and 1. The Wisconsin Badgers, a two-goal third period, both scored by David Cilia. They're now 15-4, and, and Kyle McClellan pitches a shutout.